Um, okay, so the new bit of kit I got as a modification is this uh, is this fan. It's only a seven inch one. Um, the problem we had obviously is this bracing bar across down onto the subframe, so it couldn't come down too far. But that should be enough. The car isn't overheating. This is just a precaution, and I think we'll switch it so we can have it on when the engine is stopped. So. What I've done is made it onto the original brackets. Uh, this is a Fletcher radiator, as you can see. And it has these four, so what we do is, is utilize the ones that we already have. What I'll do now is I'll actually elongate these holes. I've made a, another one here. What I'll do is elongate that hole a bit more so that when it goes, hang on, i just pull that out. So when it goes on, this is a spring washer, this one. So it goes in a little bit further um, and that will bring the fan a bit closer to the radiator but without actually touching it because the fins, the cooling fins on those are very easy uh, damaged and bent. Um, yeah, so very basics, just a, I just made a metal shield out of it. What I will do is, is these screws won't stay in there. Uh, I'll actually weld these to the edges so the only ones that will be is the four that hold it onto the radiator cowling and uh, the four that hold the fan onto the metal bracket and then we'll paint it black. I'll clean the corners off so it's not sharp or anything. Um, so these are basically just there so we can weld it in place. So that's basically how it's going to work. As I say, there's one I've made. Uh, this is the last one I'm making here on the bench. Uh, pretty simple, just drilled a hole in it and then use the, grind, use the cutter to, to cut it down. But I will probably drill these longer so we can get a bit more depth on it. And then it's just really a simple matter of pushing it over. Change hands for the camera. And just bend it down. Just pull that up, there we go. And another one made. I already built the, the hole into it, so. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll put this together, I'll show you, sorry, out of focus, so I'll put all this together, these brackets, um, show you what it looks like and then I'll take it off in one piece and uh, clean it up and get it painted, well, welded and painted. Uh, one of the other jobs I wanted to do on here was um, this piece here, you can see I've indented, I've used a socket and indented this, um, it still needs a a bracket on, on the top there but you can see now it doesn't it doesn't foul on the throttle so it's just a little indent and I'm just waiting for the gold uh, cover to come up on this so we can use it as a, a way of uh, reflecting the heat a bit uh, so that's that job done um, I've done the bracket for the uh, for the cooling fan which is here, painted it up. What I did in the end was, um, is I actually welded uh, the brackets onto it, you can see there. I welded the two brackets. Now the reason one is that long and the other one is shorter is because it's not possible to get the lower uh, bolt into the radiator because of a extension piece we put in the bulkhead. And again, this is the extra piece for the quick jack. So I'll take you back and show you why we've not been able to use or, or put the, put the uh, clamps in um, so that they're all four are spaced out. So we use obviously these two top bolts and this one here but you can see here it's an issue to get it in for the subframe um, and I have also this box, which you would not normally be in a mini. You can see this box I'm pointing to here, this one. Uh, this is where the uh, Wilwood brake master cylinders are. So that's what we want to do, we want to cover that. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a quite a tight fit down there, I have to say. But it, uh, but it works, so. Um, next one of the next things I have to do is I've got a bunch of P clips from I've got a set of 60 from um, 
car builder solution. And what we're going to do now is P clip in all of this cable here. It's actually got to go underneath, so we're going to P clip all this together along to, along to here. So what we've got now is we've got uh, our own um, power switch off here and also the one on the outside of the car here. So you still have to have this one on before you can turn this one on. And this will either turn it off from the negative side or this turns it off from the positive side. And obviously if I turn this back on again, you see it can't come on because there's no power. So, yeah, I'll get that all peak clipped up. Um, I think I'll put a little bit more of that uh, um, anti-skid pads on there. I'll get I'll get it at a Hoover out, Hoover out first and then I'll put some of that more anti-skid pad on it for the heel. I think it needs to be filled in in between. So, that's where we are so far. I've just stuck the jack in there just to see how well it works. Obviously, I'd have it on sideways, but the, the ramp's a bit narrow. Um, but yeah, it seems to work well. So we can jack it up with this aluminium uh, jack, which is one and a half ton. Or we can use the uh, we can do a quick jack with the wheels on it. But with you need some kind of uh, plywood or, or a little bit of sheet steel because if the, the tyres are a bit small on it. But uh, yeah, it worked. It does the job. Just, uh, and both wheels are off the ground. So... There you go. Does the job. So the nice thing about that obviously is that circular um, can go through any any basically any angle just about that we need it to go through. So uh, wait for some more parts to come. On to the weekend with a bit of luck, uh, get this wired in, this fan. And I think we're pretty much ready to go. This is the uh, Car Builder Solutions uh, uh, fitting instructions you get with it. Uh, they do have this system where you just put it on sticker pads, uh, but I didn't use that. You can see the way it's done. So that's it on now, you can see there. Basically what we did is, well what I did was is I built um, the, the tab system on it. It's not actually sitting on the radiator. As you can see, there's a tiny little gap, but it's really strong. Um, I had to. I ended up welding this uh, on instead of using bolts through it, uh, and it uh, seems to sit really well. It's a little bit tapered in, but that's that's not a problem. Um, the only downside was is I had to change these brackets. Um, instead of the brackets being in the same position, unfortunately that bottom one down there um, it's really hard to get to because the tower bolts in the way. Anyway, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put that onto a separate switch um, because we have uh, a dry deck situation the engine uh, stays cool much more than it would do without the dry decking because obviously it can only pump through the head and down through that tube and back out and there's no thermostat in there either, so uh, the coolant moves very rapidly. Um, the fan is really just up there as a backup, and we don't need it on all the time anyway. And like I said, I've uh, indented that piece there. I just used a, um, you can see now, it doesn't hit up against, that's going to go in a bit with a screw on it, but we won't do that till we do the um, manifold. And this is the, what we're going to put on the manifold. It's uh, 10 meters. Oh, it's got these uh, 10 tie wraps in it as well. So, um, we'll probably try and get another track day if we can, if this COVID doesn't stop us doing it. Um, and if it does, then we'll take the, manif the inlet manifold off and the weather and do all these jobs all at the same time. We might as well. And then put this gold tape onto the back here is reflective and down onto that bulkhead and uh, the last job I, I've done on it for now is the P clips I bought some um, assorted 60 assorted P clips 
and I put them in the side here you can see they're, and they're plastic these ones one there, one there two down the back there so that should do the job so we're basically ready to go if we can get another track day we'll see we'll see what happens but uh, yeah there we are so on that note, um, as usual, stay safe, keep the faith, enjoy your hobby.